hello guys you yeah, are welcome back once again on my channel so today we'll learn how to make this beautiful rose spiral sleeve so that's all for today guys so if this is your first time of coming in you're highly welcome okay without wasting much of our time let's get started so as you can see before we start this uh, sleeve you first of all need your pattern paper your basic sleeve uh, pattern so as you can see i have already created my basic sleeve so this everything depends on the fullness so for you to determine the fullness on um, how you want your the rose to be you are going to determine where you want it so my i'll be using 15 inches okay so when we are cutting we'll be cutting on fold you can see my pattern paper is not on fold so now go ahead and introduce our fabric i'll be using ankara fabric for this tutorial you can use any fabric of your choice first of all we are going to be folding it into a bias form okay so you can see me doing in the video i'm trying to fold it in a bias form in the in 180 degree the same way we fold 180 degree flare so that's why that's how we're going to fold the fabric so you can see here i'm trying to arrange it properly so after you must have draft your basic sleeve so you are going to need it for this tutorial so now you can see this is the folded end so and this is the upper part then here is the open the open uh, side so the same way you are going to so you can see so after that you are going to try to arrange it you can see the way i'm trying to place my fabric so this part is where you see the way we are going to cut so this part is the part we are going to be cutting you can see where i'm trying how i'm trying to arrange it just follow the video it's very very simple okay very super simple all you need to do is to follow what i'm doing in the video so after after folding a bias form you're going to place it this way the folded end of your pattern paper should be facing the folded end you can see this is the folded end of my pattern and the other end is the folded end of the fabric so the open side or the side of the sleeve will be facing the open side of the uh, fabric so after that you're going to make a straight line you can see so from that where you want the rose to stop where you want it to end from the top to where you want it to end my i'm using 15 inches so you can see i'm marking a straight line down into the folded side this is the folded end guys so you can see me doing i'm trying to mark out the shape of my sleeve this is the remaining part of the sleeve so you can see how the shape is coming now it's like l shape so you are going to make a line so after that you're going to add so this is how i'm going to cut it so after which i'll go ahead and add half inches so i'm going to add from here from that part i'm going to add half half inches for our sewing allowance because you're going to sew that part so that part is where we are going to sew i hope this is clear it's very very simple you fold into a bias then you place it folded side of the sleeve facing the folded side of the fabric so after that i'll go ahead and cut out my shape so after cutting it this is what i have you can see this is what i have so i'll go ahead and cut the side so remember i have already added my sewing allowance when i was drafting the sleeve the pattern so i've already added it so if you have not added it so you go ahead and add it okay but i've added so that is why i trim i cut out the exact of that pattern so now this is what we have have you seen what you have so we'll go ahead and remove our pin so that to be able to sew it so this is what it looks like guys so i'm removing my safety pins now my office pin so after that i'll go ahead and sew so i i marked on the wrong side of the fabric so it's right side facing right side so i'll just go ahead and run a stitch from that line like an l shape Okay, so after I'm done running a stitch, I will notch that 
the meeting point where the two lines intersect. So I'm going to notch it for us to be able to form our rows. So now after that, you're going to turn it inside out. You're going to turn it to the right side. So as you can see, I've already turned it to the right side. Go ahead and give it a very nice press, very nice ironing. So this is what I have. So I'm trying to form our rows. So for us to form our rows now, you're going to start from the upper part, from that pointed end. So this is where your creativity comes in. So you start forming a rows like folding it in step by step fold it in step by step so you can see you pick another one see if you are making a pleat or in a circular pleat mm -hmm. let me just put it that way like a circular pleat the same way we pleat but it should be in a circular for you can see our rows the spiral rows is forming already you can see now so at this junction i have to you have to be very careful so that your creativity can come out. You can see I'm trying to form the rows, the spiral rows. So now what happens here is depends on your creativity. So that will determine how nice your rows will come out, your sleeve, your spiral rose, spiral rose sleeve will come out. So you can see I'm trying to form my rows. So at this junction, it depends on your creativity. So just try to form rows. You can see I'm trying to form it. Our sleeve is forming already. Okay. So that is what you see me doing. I'm trying to form my rows. So guys, so at this junction, you have to pin. So this is the lining. I will advise before you form your rows, if it's possible for you, turn with lining. I cut my full lining. So I'm trying to pull the lining beneath it, okay? Because you're going to be pinning the, the uh, rows, the spirals, the round round spiral, going to be pinning it to the lining so that it will be firm for it to, to stay firm. Okay, so now, and this lining will also serve as a guide it will guide you to know where your because i cut i cut this um lining using the original pattern so after that you have as you have placed it like this it's going to guide you to know where the spiral stops so that you will not be you will not pull too much from the the other allowance you understand i don't know if you are getting me i don't know if i'm making sense so now this lining because the lining is the original shape of your sleeve so it's going to guide you now i will know that okay side i'm going to use it to form the spiral or rose you understand but without the lining you might maybe sometimes you can pull more than required okay so now the lining will be a guide but i will advise for you to turn it first because after this now, it's going to be a little difficult to have a neat finishing by the sides, like sewing in, turning them in, the sleeves in. By the, at this junction, I'm still trying to create my spiral. So that's what I'm still doing. So after that, you're going to be pinning it to the lining. You can see now I'm pinning it down. In between, you're going to pin it so that the, the rows you form will not... Um, mm -hmm scatter or be, get out of shape so in between the roses you are going to pin you can see me doing it in between see then inside you can see in between it i've pinned it down to the lining so this is what i'll do all round as you are pinning it the same way or you can just go ahead and tack it instead of pinning at the end of the day you go ahead and start and uh, tacking so, but I want to pin it down to make sure that it come out the way I want it. To make sure it came out the way I want before I will start tacking. So that is why I'm pinning it down first. So it will be easier if you turn, maybe in my next tutorial, I will turn the lining first. I will turn it first, like so the side and the down part before flipping it over to the wrong side i don't know if you're getting me then we'll start tacking 
I think that will give us a neat finishing. You can see the way I'm lifting it up. It did not scatter. See, everything is in place. My rose did not fall off or get scattered. So that is the essence of this pinning. So, like I was saying earlier on, it will be better if you sew. You see this side? It will be better if you turn it because now it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to turn the side. So, because of the, the pinning and the rose, you can see, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But to avoid all this thing, I think it's better, all this dress, I think it will be better for you to turn once you sew on both sides and you turn the down part, then flip it over as if you have done turning your sleeve before you now start creating your real rose before you start forming your rose okay so i'm trying to see how i can turn the down parts because i've already pinched i don't want to scatter the rose again so that is what i'm trying to do now so i'll just go ahead and flip the lining to the to the right side of the fabric then i'll sew the down parts I made a mistake this part, so but I will still redo it again. You flip your lining to the other, to the right side of the fabric and sew it down. You can see. So, so you can see after sewing it now, you find that. So this is what I did. I'm trying to repeat it again. You see, you flip your lining to the right side of the fabric you can see and so that is after you must have pin or secure your rose so that it will not scatter but to avoid this stress so you can see now um, i was able to sew can you see the down is now i've turned it inside sew it inside so i've concealed the rough edges down there so but here it might be a little difficult doing it at the side because of the pinning and the rules so i'll just go ahead and fold them half half inch the lining and the fabric i'll just fold it a little bit inside and so to have the that neat finishing on the sides okay guys so this is the final look so this is how everything came out so you can see it's very very easy so I've attached it on another dress. Actually, this is not the dress. This is not the sleeve for that dress. But I'll just pin it for this tutorial purpose for you to see. Very, very simple and easy to make. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please kindly give it this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, like, and share for more videos. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this tutorial. Bye.